Libra, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. Let's see what's going on in your energy. I'm going to use the Tarot dice. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Remember, this reading is for anybody with a Libra placement, okay? And this may resonate from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with or whoever's coming towards you in the future. Okay, time is fluid. So, you know, again, I've had things happen for me months from now, several months, all the way up to a year, and I let everybody know that. This is for anybody with Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. And there is a sidereal chart and there is also the tropical chart. The tropical chart is what most people are used to. Okay, I'm going to pull three messages as well from the person that's coming towards you, how they're thinking or feeling about you, what's on their mind. I will pull them near the end of the reading and I'm going to do the tarot dice now. And I'm going to get that person's energy on the other traditional deck right here and the mutual energies between you and them using the Shacy Prism tarot deck. Okay, so let's see what's going on. And don't go anywhere because I'm also going to get the Double Decker Vintage deck here from the 1960s and the 1970s to get your overall energy. So it can bring up finance, career, family, home, etc. Okay, now all these messages wanted to come out for you, so I feel the need to pull them all. Obviously, Spirit has a lot of messages from your person. We've got one, two, three, four, five messages. All right, let's get into it. Don't forget to hit the like button. It's a fantastic and free way to support the channel. Okay. I really appreciate it. And these are free readings. So I really appreciate it even more. <laughs> Thank you very much. It keeps me going. Let's see what's happening. Ooh, who's walked away. Okay. Somebody just made a final decision to walk away from people, places, and things that are not working. Somebody's got their sword up. Okay. It's, it's like, I've had enough. That's it. That's it. I'm standing my ground. I'm not backing down. Somebody's standing the ground, not backing their, not backing down to perhaps a Capricorn or a Scorpio. I've also got Leo Sagittarius Aries here. Okay. I've got Virgo. <laughs> I've got strong Capricorn here as well. Strong Scorpio. Okay. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You could have those placements strongly in your chart or the person you're dealing with is, or, you know, the person coming towards you, they might have that in their chart, but there is a message coming in something really good, something that I feel is going to make you happy. Uh, I do feel for some of you, this person's going to tell you they walked away from a situation. They made a final decision to let something go. Uh, this is somebody that wants to take the action towards you. They want to bring you something. They want to bring you this good news. Uh, they're very excited about it. Okay. This is somebody who is very action orientated because we've got a lot of fire here. Uh, so this is somebody that has a lot of love and a lot of fire within their chart. I'm feeling they're cutting out toxic. Somebody toxic it could be several people in their life that is toxic. They've been swimming around with these thoughts in their heads for quite a while. I feel of who to let go. I feel like there's been quite a few people that they've been up against. And I feel like they are going to persevere because whatever decision this person is making, remember this might be vice versa. It depends who's watching as to whose perspective it plays out from. This is somebody making a final decision. That's like, I'm done. That's it. You know, I'm, I'm cutting out the devil <laughs> basically is what they're doing. I'm cutting out somebody who's toxic, somebody that I felt bound and tied to, you know, it could be, um, could be an ex or it could be somebody that was just, you know, yeah, it could be an ex, but it could be anybody that was, was cold and toxic and just hard to deal with. Okay. It's somebody that uh, fights over everything is what I'm kind of getting. This person is letting that person go that situation. Yeah. Just as I said that we've got the five of wands. This is the 1970s deck. Okay. So this person is tired of waiting. Um, this is somebody that has been through a lot of challenges and this is also somebody that either is getting opinions of others and that's the problem. Everybody's sticking their two cents in. Okay. is kind of what I'm getting here. Mm -hmm. So let's see what's going on. What is going on for Libra? So I'm meditated on your messages for the next 30 to 60 days, but things can change, you know, week to week. So check in the next time I do a Libra reading. Wow. I saw the King of Cups and the Tarot Dice and now the Queen of Cups. You and this person have a sacred bond. You do. There is a connection between the two of you that is like overflowing. There's a lot of love between the two of you. You both have a lot of love to give. And I feel like you have a lot of like deep emotions for each other. Uh, this person is coming in with some kind of... I'm getting two different stories. So for some of you, it's going to be different. For some of you, this person's taking action to let go of a lot of responsibilities that has laid on their shoulders. But before they can walk away, 
they have to make a monetary um, sacrifice is what I want to say. There's something monetary they must sacrifice. So they could be talking to lawyers, attorneys, uh, something. It could be business. It could be relationship. It could be an ex. There's some monetary that they have to pay out or they're, you know, it's something to do with money um, is what I'm getting. They were waiting for a final judgment before they could, you know, let go and walk away from the situation once and for all is what I'm getting. There could have been a lot of fighting over this money, over this payout, perhaps for some of you here. Uh, that's what I'm getting, but let's keep going. This person has a lot of love for you. You have a lot of love for them and you are divine counterparts. I mean, there is a bond here, a sacred bond between the two of you. Clear for the Ace of Cups for Libra. What is going on with this Ace of Cups for Libra? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Oh, wow. This person wants the whole enchilada with you, the happy family, the happy home, the happy life. This person feels... Like they can have it all with you. That's very nice. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Libra. Why is the Ten of Cups here? OMG, they're coming to communicate. This is somebody who may travel to you. Either way, there's some exciting income and communication. Uh, try not to set your boundaries too high. This person has really good intentions. They are in a very young, excited energy, I want to say. Um, this person <laughs> has a lot of passion to give you, a lot of love to give you, and I feel like they just want to lay it on you. They want to lay it on you. Um, they may want to travel with you, but let's see. Clarify the Eight of Wands, please. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? Oh, this is somebody who's really trying to hold back and maintain their passion. It's like, oh boy, I better hold myself back. But it's almost like they can't take it anymore. Okay, they can't take it anymore the way things are. They, they want to come in towards you. This is somebody who's been holding back their love for you, but they don't want to hold it back anymore. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and get their energy on the other deck. I'm getting that this is mostly their energy, okay? So let's see what's going on, though. And I do. I pick up the other person's energy more often than not. I already pre-shuffled these, so let's cut the deck. What's going on with uh, Libra's person of interest? How are they currently feeling toward Libra in this connection? I want to move forward towards you, Libra. I want to move things forward. So this could be relocation or they're traveling towards you. Uh, they've been trying to hold back, not say anything until everything was kind of wrapped up on their end is what I'm getting. Wow. Where is this chariot going? That's cancer energy. <laughs> they're taking a leap of faith towards you. They want to jump in their car or jump in a plane and they want to come towards you here. This is somebody that's willing to take a risk, willing to take a chance. They don't want to hold back anymore. It's what I keep getting. What's going on with the fool energy? What's the, what's the fool up to? This is a new beginning, okay? I'm letting go of whatever hasn't worked in my life and I'm coming towards you and, and letting go of pride, ego, uh, responsibilities, whatever it is that I've had on my plate here that's been holding me back, I'm coming now. I'm coming towards you. Oh boy, you, <laughs> you better be prepared for the wand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, say, I'm prepared. <laughs> wow, they're... <laughs> Whoa, Nellie, <laughs> they're coming for you, boy, I gotta say. <laughs> You're in for it. But it's not just about the passion. There's a lot of love here, too. There's a lot of love here. And there's the whole enchilada, I mean. <laughs> they're gonna give you the whole enchilada. I don't mean to laugh, but wow, this person's been holding back. Could be a Leo or have strong Leo on their chart. Ooh, 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 boy. You better be prepared. Um, let me think. You better get the candles out. <laughs> Maybe a bottle of wine if you're into that. Um, hmm. I don't know. Let's see what's going on with the Ace of Wands. <laughs> They're manifesting you. Oh, boy. They're manifesting taking this leap of faith. They are so ready to move forward. You better claim that. Yep. Double confirmation between the current deck and the tarot dice, the seven of cups, making decisions here. So they've been trying to manifest, making all these different decisions in order to come towards you. This is somebody who's been planning. They've been planning. Yes, they have. 
They're single, they're financially stable, they're independent, they're flourishing, or they're looking at you this way. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here, please, for Libra? Why is the Nine of Pentacles? That's Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. I've also got Pisces energy here, Aries energy here. What's going on with the Nine of Pentacles? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here, please, for Libra? Let me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as, as well. I keep forgetting to let you guys know that because that way you're notified of future readings, okay? And subscribing is free. I'd love to have you as a new subscriber if you're not subscribed already. Ooh, this person's single and ready to have a really good time with you. Emotionally, sensually. Oh yeah, this person is... They're holding back right now, but I have a feeling once they see you, it's all over. It's all over, Libra. Let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles. I don't know who this is. Like, I, I, it could be a water sign. It could be, uh, you know, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Or it could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But I've also got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. <laughs> wow, this person feels you are extremely guarded, Okay. Uh, you may have been through a lot already, so they see you as single, financially stable. This is your energy, I feel. And they see that you are in your element, you're doing well, but you're also protecting everything you've worked so hard for, your heart, if you've been hurt before. Um, this person has definitely been manifesting, creating this new beginning with you. But there was, again, there's something monetary or something or an ex or something they had to deal with first. Why is this Nine of Wands here for Libra? What's the significance? Okay, so you're guarded because you're not sure what to trust because you've been kind of waiting, kind of hanging out, kind of like I'm getting fed up. I feel like you're you're almost at the end of your rope because you're you're doing really well. Spirit is saying like you're looked at in a very high light by this person and they know that you've been waiting. And so I feel like this is coming to fruition. It is. Let's see what's going on with the tarot charm. <laughs> Ships are coming in. Double clarification. Look at that. There's the ship. Okay, so everything's coming together. This is beautiful. There's no more waiting. So if you were waiting for somebody and you're kind of like, I don't trust you because, you know, like, I don't know what's going on with you. Maybe this person confused you with the seven of cups. Maybe you feel like this other person's been kind of looking at their other opportunities and you were like, okay, I'm not into that. Sorry, but uh, I'm not an opportunity. I'm a one of a kind. I am a one of a kind nine of pentacles. Hello. Like, you know, um, that's kind of what I'm getting. Like, you know, they, they definitely are seeing you that way. They're seeing you in a very high light. So if they had other opportunities, they only care about you. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. So if that's a thing that you're worried about, don't worry about that. There's the ship's wheel. Again, your ships are coming in. So spirit wants you to continue to have the hope and faith. Okay. There is new love coming in here. This is new love. This is love either that never got off the ground or this is somebody just, you know, they're, they're, they've just, maybe you find out they've come out of a situation, out of a marriage or divorce or else they were dealing with somebody who was just very difficult or several, I'm getting several people here. Uh, but this person um, has been through a lot. They've been through a recent breakup, whoever this is. Okay. There could be children involved for some of you or family because I definitely have family here. Okay. This is somebody, though, who is very, very protective. Okay. Very protective, especially of children. Could be you, could be them, could be both of you. This is definitely somebody that sees a legacy, a future, a life with you here. Um, again, the Ten of Cups, the whole enchilada. They see everything with you. Let's get the mutual energies between you and them. The mutual energies between Libra and their person of interest. Okay, this person is taking action towards you, I'm telling you. So you all have to come back here and let me know if somebody just suddenly shows up because the Fool energy can be somebody that shows up unexpectedly and just surprises you, okay? All right, first message. Yeah, there could be trust issues between you you and this person maybe they disappointed you before or maybe you just have been hurt in the past and and they have or both of you like either or or both uh, maybe you both have trust issues here okay but i'm telling you <laughs> this is new beginning and it's going to be very exciting and full of a lot of love so claim that this looks really great this could be somebody from your past or again that's a past soul to soul connection because we have the king and queen of cups you both have a lot of love to give you're both very supportive or you will be very supportive of one another uh, you're both um, 
I want to say highly intuitive. You're in tune or you will be in tune with each other. That's fantastic. Okay, so if you're really worried about anything, Spirit says we're always listening to you. Ask your angels for guidance and assistance. Okay, let's get your uh, spirit messages. Let's see what your spirit messages are. For the balance of January, like I said, I'll be doing more readings if I get a chance, but... Um, I've been trying to get all the signs done, but it always depends on personal readings, okay? All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, <laughs> be true to yourself in all ways. Not everyone will get you. They can only understand from their level of perception that's so true, right? And that's on them. No matter what people say, don't ever doubt your worth or the beauty you hold within. Stand tall in your power. So for some of you, you may have stood your, stood your ground to an earth sign or a water sign. Could be anybody. Again, they could be taking on that energy. You could have been standing your ground in terms of, I want long-term marriage or commitment or stability, okay? And you stood your ground and you broke up with this person. You let it go. You made a final decision to walk away for some of you. This could be somebody now coming in towards you that's brand new. Okay, or this is someone from your past or a past soul to soul connection that comes in unexpectedly after they walk away from another situation. Either way, there's something beautiful coming in for you. It looks amazing. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get messages from this person. What would they like to say to you? Now we're in the future. Chemistry. <laughs> I have never felt a passion like this, like this intense. Hello, Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, get those candles and wine ready or whatever your pleasure is because it's a hot tub. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay, next message. Commitment. I want you to be a part of my future. There you go. They see you as their whole enchilada. The happy family, the happy home, building the family legacy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next message. <laughs> I want to have equal give and take. This person, if they weren't giving you equal give and take before, they certainly will now. Okay, so some of you, yeah, you may have stood your ground or this is just somebody overall that you've left behind, somebody you've left behind and now you're meeting somebody that's going to give you the equal give and take, the commitment you've always wanted. Self-love. I'm still trying to heal. So definitely with the Nine of Wands guarded energy, this can be somebody that lacked trust. And so did you because I have it in your mutual energies. So you're meeting somebody that's on your level that feels the same way or will feel the same way as you. Reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. So for some of you, this person needed you to give them the boot <laughs> in order for them to gain the clarity and return to you. Okay, so for some of you, this is somebody returning to you uh, where things never got off the ground or it never led to marriage and, and that's you gave them kind of an ultimatum. Uh, again, for others of you, this is this is somebody that they're, they walk away from another situation and, and you meet this person quite by accident. Whatever the case may be, don't be too guarded. Spirit is telling you not to be too guarded because this is coming in. I'm telling you what, you've got the Eight of Wands, the Chariot, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the King and Queen of Cups. Ooh la la, this looks amazing. You are in for not only one hell of a good time, but a lifetime of happiness. That's what I'm seeing for you, Libra. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This looks fantastic. Again, things could be happening now for you several months from now. But usually with the Eight of Wands and King of Wands, this is somebody that really means business. This is an action taker. So let me know in the comment section. Save this video and uh, come back if, if this happens for you. I'd love to hear from you. Much love, much light. I will see you all again next time. Again, please don't forget to hit the like button. It's so little, but it's so big for the channel. It helps others to hear these messages and understand Libras better as well. Bye for now.